Hey everybody, John Burroughs here with another tutorial on a Honeywell Lynx L5100 touchscreen panel. And this one is uh, how to wire in a hardwired siren. Now these panels do have wiring terminals for a hardwired siren, but the outputs are so low that you need some help. So basically you need a power supply set up and uh, I'm going to show you uh, in this next bit of footage on how to go about wiring that into your L5100 panel so you can get that loud, powerful outdoor siren that you need. So uh, let's take a hop on over to the table and I'll show you what's going on. All right, what I have here is the uh, all the components you'll need to hook a hardwired siren to your Lynx L5100 touchscreen alarm system. I've got the panel itself, I've got a backup battery, a power supply, an ultra sensitive relay, a siren, and I have my transformer down here on the floor where I'm going to wire that in. Um, but let's go ahead and some also some various wires that I have uh, put together here so we can connect all this together. Now most usually you'll do this in a cabinet, so you'll be putting this uh, power supply, this ultra sensitive relay, and the backup battery in a panel itself where you'll be wiring it but for ease of show I'm going to do it this way. Um, I've already went ahead and took my transformer wires and put them on the proper AC AC terminals it's not polarity specific so you don't have to worry about positive and negative on that and these wires are already connected to my battery uh, you see the little red LED for the charging circuit there. Uh, I've also taken the uh, taking the start off by making this little bridger uh, jump, jumper wire. It, it will be explained in the uh, diagram and instructions that you can find on our knowledge base. Um, I'll put the link down here at the bottom of the video so you guys can see it. So what we're going to start off with first is uh, we've taken a piece of wire and we've connected it on the inside of the uh, L5100 panel here. The red is going to go to your trig terminal and the black is going to go to your GND terminal and then you bring it out the back and what you're going to do is you're going to take the negative wire, the black wire, from the panel to the ultra sensitive relay and we're going to hook that in under the NEG negative terminal right here. So we're going to go ahead and do that, Let's stick that wire in there. And then we're going to run the positive or red wire to our trig negative on the ultra sensitive relay. So I can just go ahead and kind of maneuver it in like this, put it under that terminal, screw that terminal down since that's the only wire that that one's going to be accepting. <clears throat> and we're going to leave this one loose for a minute because we got another piece of wire we're going to wire in. Um, since those two are taken care of, now we move on. Um, let's see here. What one do I want to do next? Let's just get the one coming out of the. Uh, let's just get the one coming out of the negative terminal, the NEG negative. Um, we'll go ahead and use this piece of wire right here, and uh, we're going to run this wire under the NEG negative on the ultra sensitive relay. That's the other, other wire that's going to be under there. So once both of those are under there, we will tighten down the screw. Make sure they're nice and snug and in there. All right, yep, they are nice and secure. Now this other wire that I've got attached on here, we're going to run to the negative DC output on the power supply. So put that here and then tighten that down because that's the only wire that's going in there. Now this end that we have left over, this is going to go to the negative siren wire. So we'll just take this end and we'll wrap it in with this siren wire. And that's done. Now, moving on. Oh, I didn't stay. You would usually use wire nuts, guys, but I am I got to put this equipment back and whatnot, so I'm just doing the best I can hand twisting this. Um, yeah, but use wire nuts or splice connectors. Okay, next connection. Move some of these out of my way here. 
The next connection, we are going to go from the positive of the power supply. So I've got another piece of, two pieces of wire I've put together. Going to put the joined end underneath the positive DC output terminal on the power supply. Let's get it in there, make sure it's nice and snug and in, tighten it down. And these other two wires, I'm going to run one to the NO terminal on the relay and I'm going to tighten that down. And the other end of this is going to the POS positive on here. So we need to raise this up a little bit because I've got that short jumper under there too. This wire will go under the POS positive on your ultra sensitive relay. And you tighten that down. like that and then finally we take this last piece of wire this lone straggler and we put it underneath the C terminal on the ultra sensitive relay tighten that down and this is going to go to our positive wire on our siren now that guys this I know this looks a mess but um, when you get it to your house, follow that diagram we got on the website. It'll be a great help to you. I've never done this. This is my first attempt at doing this. So let's see how she goes. Everything's wired in. We're good. Now there are some programming instructions to do uh, here. We hit, need to hit the More tab. Then we go to Tools. Enter in your installer code. Then we go to Rules. And rule number one, edit. I already have this set up, but what you need in this section for rule number one, just name it siren. The type is trigger output, action permanent on, start zone type not used, stop zone type not used, start system operation, any burglar alarm, and then stop system operation at bell timeout. Those instructions are on the uh, diagram as well. So, you know, just go there, check that out. And let's go ahead and back out of here by hitting their little curly arrow. Back all the way out of programming. Now I'm going to set this panel down. I'm going to turn on my power supply. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to hold down the panic key on this panel and hit pull. And as you can see, it worked. So that's it, folks. That's how you hook up a power supply with the Ademco 12612 and the Altronics Ultra Sensitive Relay we have on the site, as well as the other accoutrements. If you got any questions, give us a call. All right, we're back. Now, that's how you go about doing it. Like I said in that piece of footage there, it is a little messy with how I had everything set up, but you get the basic idea. Now, that, like I said, that's all going into a cabinet, so you can rearrange and make everything look perfect and uh, fit how you need it to fit. So, um, but that's it. That's basically how you do it. And uh, if you have any questions, give us a call, 888-811-0727. Choose option number two on the phone menu, and our tech guys will be happy to help you out. It's John Burroughs, AlarmSystemStore.com. We'll talk to you again soon, guys. Have a good one.